Hey NorCal Carters, this is Jason and this quick video is on using the tire bead breaking tool. So this one I just have loosely assembled because I'm selling it. I have a store on eBay. I'll post a link below so you can buy one of these tire tools. So everything's just loosely assembled. I'll also do a video a little bit later that uh, goes into the assembly of the bead breaking tool. So. The reason I like this model is, again, everything's real loose right now, but the reason I like this model is as it actuates up and down, it pushes almost straight down on the tire. And there's some other versions that are out there. They're all very similar, but there's another version where it just hangs off of one pivot point. And what happens is as you change the angle of the lever bar, then it has a small, narrow little foot for breaking the bead to apply the pressure. And what happens is those tend to want to slip on the tire and dig into your rim. So if you're damaging the rim, uh, there's a high chance that, that that rim will not seal and will cause you a problem. So that's why I like this one because with the multiple levers here, it allows basically a straight down effort onto the tire itself without the risk of it slipping and digging into your rim. So first thing you want to do is you want to set the height. So I already have this one set. And just in case it's not in the video, you want to set the height. And on this RLBB breaker, there's three adjustable heights. So this is a rear shifter cart tire and this bead breaker works for five inch rims or six inch rims and so you set the height so you have an angle so when you push down the handle doesn't bottom out on the rim you want to maximize your your efficiency so there's one height for the rears there's one height for the fronts um, and the other thing you want to look out for I don't know if you can see it in the video give me a moment let me look not really but Right here is the valve stem. You want to be very, very careful that when you're breaking the bead down, you don't want you don't want the tool lined up with the valve stem. You want to rotate it away from the valve stem. The reason is if you're pushing down and it kind of just, it breaks loose before you have a chance to control it, what can happen is you can break off the back side of the valve stem with the tire itself. So we have it. We have the height set. We're gonna slowly break it down. Now I'm cheating on this one. It's not fully beaded because I ran out of air in the air compressor to fully bead it. So they're seated but it's not fully set up. So you can hear the air leak out. And again as you're doing this you want to make sure your tool is not digging into the rim itself. And if you have a little bit of issues on the fronts, because a lot of times some rims are designed where the front, the taper is a lot longer than on the back. So if you're struggling, you can always take the rim, flip it over, make sure everything's centered up on, on this part here that helps keep the rim centered so it doesn't slip off the tool. And there you go. So that one's off. Now you go to the front, do the same thing. And if you have a smaller front wheel, take the bolt out and then you lower this whole assembly here. So as you can see, one, two, three positions. And there's actually a fourth hole way up here. I imagine this is probably more for a dirt setup where you have a, a much wider rear tire. I don't do dirt, so I don't know, but uh, that's probably what that's for. So there you go. That's how you set the height. And as you can see, the mechanics, for the most part, it's pushing almost straight down, applying the best energy. And in some of the other videos, I have how to mount and dismount the tires with no tools besides a bead breaker. Um, so you can look at those videos. I do them a little slower. 
I do my best to explain it. Sorry, um, my glasses fell off. So I do my best to explain it. But again, it's one of those things that when you do it frequently, sometimes it's almost harder to teach someone because you're not really thinking about what you're doing. You're just going through the motions. So that is the bead breaker video. This is the RLV bead breaker, TRZ0028. I'll post a link below to my eBay store where you can purchase these bead breakers. And thank you for watching.